hello and welcome to the Downton Abbey Rewatch, hey, episode everybody. two of season one, and we're going to entitle this this episode, I'm going to judge everybody. <laughs> That's a good one. Because <laughs> everyone's judging. Yes. The, the Crowleys are judging. The, the Crowleys. The Crowleys are judging. Now, Isabel and Matthew are judging. The staff is judging. You're right. Everybody's judging. You, you know, I like that title. It, 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 everyone's everyone's, everyone's it, judging. Everyone's judging. It's just good. like, it can't just be, because we're all, this, well, it's, well, we, we all do it. We assume this person's going to be would, a certain way. I'm judgmental sometimes. I hate doing it, because you, you, you should give people an opportunity. They always say first impression is... Um, the important and people, right. you know, base their like liking you or not by your first impression. Um, I'm sure people when they meet me, they're like, Ooh. anyway, because I know I'm strong, strong personality, um, and that's okay. I don't care as long as my kids and you guys and you love me. I'm fine with it. My family, um, everybody else, okay. okay. Uh, anyway, <laughs> um, but. The judgmental. Well, you're right. I never thought that way. She said that they. Well, it, everything is judged. Everything, because even when you have the the, the, the side plot with uh, Carson. Oh yes. He was worried about I'm being so judged. For, you're right. For, for being a. On the vaudeville, right, or whatever that being, was back there on being, stage and singing and dancing. Singing I and guess dancing. that was beneath people. To me, what did you always teach our children? No job is beneath you. No. Well, if you're getting a paycheck, then it's not beneath you. If you're, if you're contributing to society, society and you're working and hard, you're working hard, you have nothing to be ashamed. You have nothing to be ashamed of. There's no job that's not, that's beneath you or, or I mean, ashamed as long as to you're, do. Is, it, it, well, further, you're not just you're, if you're a good person, you're hard, you, hard working. You're, you're right. You, you just you do what you you can to help other people. Correct. Yeah. You know, so you got you got it. Just it's just part of life. You know. You just you just as long as you're a good person, I think. But here, the, the, you got the staff is judging them because oh, they're. They're not. I'm not they're worthy. upper middle class, right? Well, I'm not. They're not. You know, you get O'Brien. I'm not waiting on him. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing that. And you know, Thomas has the same kind of attitude, right? But then you also have Matthew, who's like, I don't want to. There, he he assumes they're all stuck up and in, correct. And, and they're gonna marry him off, and he's not gonna be able to be who he wants to be a true the true self that he feels he is. Yeah, he wants to be who he is, which right. is fine. Yeah. But but he's judging them without you know right without really getting to know them. Also, and he's, and he's right about Violet. Right. <laughs> But you know, I love her. What's a weekend? Yeah. <laughs> I love her face. But the whole like thing. That. But then you also have you know the Crawley, um, Mary, and Lady Mary, and so everyone is just judging everybody in this episode. But right, we start off with, and if you like what we're doing, oh yeah, let's do that. Share it. Tell a friend. Give us a thumbs, thumbs up. up. Give us some comments. Comments. If we had some good comments in the, the yes, last we time, did. and we're we're having we're enjoying doing that. Yes, we are. You're kind of bored watching the episode because you've seen it so many times. I'm, I'm never bored. Not bored. Not bored. That's but not you, the right word. That's not the right. Oh, you're judging me. I know. What, what am I? <laughs> wow. I'm, it's the judging episode. No, I think it, I, to me, it's, it's it's been so long since I've seen them. I you know I remember the episodes correct, but I didn't. I forgot this was the episode where. Well, you haven't watched it as much as I mean. I just just finished doing a rewatch. I don't know. Maybe back in August and September, I did a we watch. So it's like a, it's still kind of fresh to yeah, me. You're kind of crazy. Anyway, we have the opening scene. Isabel and Matthew arrive, and they meet Mosley. Yeah, and just so you guys know, I'm just curious if you all saw that because I'm in the. Well, we saw it because we were watching. We saw it. it, but if anybody else saw it, because you know you always find little things. But as she's walking to the house, Isabel, her, Isabel, her little coat was lift, lifted up. It must have been from sitting or something. It's like lifted up. You didn't see it. So is it intentional or is it? No, I think it was just a mistake, mistake. and nobody fixed it. Nobody on the costume part of the I'm judging. Production. I'm judging that. Yes, we are. Uh, but we meet, we meet Mosley, and Mosley in this episode is not comic relief. No, He's, you're right. He, they, they change his character as time goes on. Yes. You know, he's trying to do his service and his job. Um, and that he's proud to do and thankful that he has a job, I'm assuming. Yeah. And uh, it's to dress and help and do the things well, that he's, he does. Well, he's a butler. He's a butler. And so um, in his, in the stat, you know, in, in the judging world, his stature is higher because he, right. he's a butler. Correct. And so, but he wants to be treated with the respect that he deserves. Exactly. And Matthew is... The let's, status in his position let's, holds. Let's face it, Matthew has an attitude. Yes, he does. He comes in with an attitude. He's they're not going to, like you said, not going to change me, all right. these different stuff, but... And, and like she said, it, you, you have no choice. There, you you have to take this this. Uh, you're going to be an earl. Uh, you're going to get inheritance. There's nothing you can do about it. You, you can't can. can decline it. So unless you have a bad a bad driving accident. Ah, there you go. Spoiler. Uh, let's see. Isabel is is into it. I think she's she wants she doesn't. I, I, she no, doesn't, I don't think she's into it, but she doesn't want to be made a fool. She doesn't want right. Matthew to make him look like you know. A couple times that we've been somewhere, I'll say like, "Can you act like you've been here before?" You know, don't don't like. Let's pretend like we know what we're doing. Let's pretend like we've been in this situation before. Let's not act silly. Let's let's uh, let's don't. We don't want anyone judging us. Not not ju 
well, yeah, I guess judging. <laughs> so she's coming across that same way with Matthew. You know, act like you've been here before. Let's not let them think that we don't know how to handle ourselves in this situation. But shouldn't you be... Because they're expecting that. But shouldn't you, in life, you should be able to be who you are. Yes, but unfortunately, life is not that way. Okay. People judge. You just said it. I know. I just said Ooh, it. I'm getting hot. I got to take my shirt off. Sorry. You can see I'm getting all red. That's good. So it's hot in here. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> uh, Matthew uh, says he will pick his own... Wife. Wife. He's not going to be told who he's going to marry. Okay. And then uh, L- Lady Mary walks in at that point, and he goes, oops. <laughs> Why Her face is hilarious. I'm wondering how much she hears of it, though. Do you think she hears? I guess she heard. She did hear all she, that. But I think Matthew kind of liked her. You think so? I, when he walked in, he's like, oh, she, well, she's not bad. Oh, okay. I think, I think he was smitten by her. All right. I even wrote down. Matthew was. Smitten I thought it was funny, you know. You know, we were watching uh, This Is Us last night, and you know, we had a phenomenal moment where something happened, and that we don't want to get into because you hadn't seen it. We just laughed our, our butts off, and then this kind of remind me once again of you and I when we first met for the first time. I don't know if you were smitten by me, but we both did not like each other, and we're just like, great, we have to work together now. Yeah, I was. So I, I kind of like whenever I see this scene, I always reminds me of you and I because we were not. Uh, uh, as they say, you were uh, Lady Mary and, and I was a nice guy. Uh, the sta- I'll give you that. The staff is looking down on Matthew and Isabel. They're in there talking. Right. And, you know, there's a lot of smoking. Well, I think is that this was the scene the thing. where they're smoking. Yeah, I think that was the thing. I just thought uh, that's not healthy, guys. <laughs> they didn't know back in nineteen. What is this? Nineteen twelve? Oh, oh, they knew. They okay. Knew. But, uh, who knows? Uh, let's see. Uh, Cora and uh, Violet are trying to undo the inheritance. They're trying to figure out a plan. Well, again, this just seems so bizarre that, you know, sh- you know, again, Americans are allowed to inherit, but not in Europe. And uh, they're trying to figure out a way to, to keep Cora's money. But they just said in the last episode that it was that the strings were tight. So I don't know how they're going to be able to get out of it. Well, it, they're, I think it's... I guess it's a plot. I get it. It's the plot. And plus, right. you, you, they're trying to do everything they can. I understand. Uh... They meet the Isabel and, and and Matthew meet the staff and Matthew makes a joke. Oh, it's the welcoming committee or yes. something like that. And, and, and Robert goes, <laughs> it was like, hmm. and it, and I think Isabel realized that it was. <laughs> <laughs> but Matthew's like, I was making a joke. Yes, he you know, was I'm, making a joke. But I'm, I'm they a solicitor and I'm funny. <laughs> uh, and then we find out Violet's a little snotty. Well, I think we figured that out. In the, the last episode, oh, yeah, she's she's a she's a snotty snotty. Boy. Yes. Ooh, oh. sorry, people. I just kicked the, t- the camera. Well, there you go. Uh, they have dinner. Yes. And that's kind. Of, and then you see, you know, they're doing all the passing the food around, and and you see uh, Thomas being Thomas, telling him how he should get his food. I thought that was funny. Yeah, like, he, like I, he, I he, know. He, he knows how to do it. He's not like he's out this first time out in the world. It was it was Thomas's way of putting him down, though. Okay, you're right. You know, but you know. It, 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 but that's just Thomas. True. Because Tim and O'Brien have been going crazy Back, since yes. this, this Since has happened. Uh, Bates arrived, so yes. Right. Uh, they're shocked that Matthew wants to keep working. Yes. Because I guess back in those days, gentlemen didn't gentlemen work. Gentlemen didn't work. How did they make their money? Well, they made their money on other people's backs. <laughs> 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 that's what they did. But here you what go. What a hard life they all had. You have, he's, 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 he's a lawyer. And, right. And, you know, not a, I, I don't want to get into lawyers, but, you know, it's, it's, for the most part, a respectable <laughs> yes. occupation. I mean, it's it, it's it's. Well, you're a lawyer. It's, well, you, I, you have to. Work, I would be impressed if I was a lawyer. You, have you to were work, a lawyer. You have to work hard to yes, be a lawyer. Yes, it's not an easy but, thing to but do. But like, back then, maybe it was different. I don't know. But, but even even the people that the, the, the people that and I'm not putting these people down again because work is work. But the people that are. They should, I, you think they would respect. No, because they're not a gentleman. Gentlemen don't work. No, I'm talking about the people that, the, that the, are the, the servants maids and, and the everything. Servants. Yeah, I don't know. Because you, well, like, he still wants to, but that's just not the way it, yeah. it was. It, yeah. it, they looked, they frowned upon it. Yes, they did. Uh, Carson receives a note. <laughs> Scurries out. Um, Isabel uh, tours the hospital. Yes. Because she was, um, They you find out in the, after the dinner as they're walking. Um, her husband, late husband, was a doctor. Her, her brother, brother and, and father, father were, were doctors. doctors. And she became doctors. and she became a nurse in the war, the yeah. African War, was it or something like that? I don't remember the war she was talking about. Okay. Anyway, um, so, it wasn't World War. It, well, World War One hadn't happened yet. No. So, so it, whatever the war was, and so she became a nurse. You know those British people always so fighting. She needs to find something to do because she'd be bored with herself. Was she a nurse where she was at before in Manchester? I. I think she was. Okay. Was she they didn't really talk about it, did they? they, they I, I don't know. Okay. 
Uh, Mosley tells Bates what it's like working for Matthews. Yes, I, you feel bad. And yeah. again, you see, you know, um, which you see nowadays in any kind of job where fellow job people get together and talk about their, you know, people they're working with, what it's like, what they don't like, what they do like, and kind of have that commodity that they, yeah. um, they. Enjoy. Again, but mostly is more serious. Yes, very serious in this. Not this, the bumbling. No, bumbling a fool. The, I don't want to say fool, but he, 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 he comes across later on as a little bumbler. But he was he was lovable. Yes, very lovable. Lovable mostly. Yeah. A violent court visit Matthew and Isabel. Yes. And and Matthew arrives late and he doesn't want. And that. he's eating his food. He's just chewing with his mouth and, open. And, and, and mostly like this one. <laughs> and Isabel feels bad, so she gives mostly her cup. Yeah. You want something to do? And he did. He wanted something. Yeah, to he do. did want something to do. It, 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 that's what he wants. He, 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 he wants to work. Yes. Help him out, Matthew. Anna sees Mr. Carson gathering food. Yes, and uh, Anna's in the kitchen cleaning something, yeah. a dress or something, and she sees, I guess he must have been in the pantry. I didn't know anyone uh, else was, was there. How did you not hear the water running? Oh, he's focused. Okay. He's focused. Anyway, so he was stealing some, what, apples, oranges, or whatever yeah. he could find. Well, we know he's stealing right now. Oh, that's right. But he's, 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 he's taking food. Yes, he is. Isabel thinks they can save the Drake. Yes. Uh, the Drake. The Drake. Because uh, I forgot to mention that he's coughing up blood and it's kind of gross. And he has something and like the, water on the heart his, or something. His like wife that. runs up going, oh no, Edith is going to steal my husband someday. Later on, that's later on. Spoiler alert. Oh, I'm sorry. Spoiler alert. Um, Dr. Clarkson doesn't like what Isabel is saying. And I, I think um, he didn't, he's never done it before, so I think he was insecure about it. Insecure, but he also said it was almost like the class thing. Well, if we save him... We'd have to save everybody. They're all going to uh, want to be saved. Yeah, you're you right. I didn't think of it that way. We don't have the funds. We don't. I have... was looking at it more that he was afraid to do it. It's almost like it's almost like you know the whole argument we have with healthcare here in the system. In this right. Country. It's just like who do you save, who do you don't save. Uh, okay. is, it, should, is it a right? Is, all it, right. You know. But he was like saying, you know, well, if we save the Drake. Then that person, the other farmer down the road, gonna want to be saved too. <laughs> Even though Grantham, you know, he, you know. Anyway, but you, you know, uh, I understand now. Isabel's like, oh, we want to save everybody. Yes, and because uh, that's Isabel. Yeah. Oh, Brian gets uh, uh, gets called out uh, by Carson. Well, they're downstairs in. Oh, by Cora, I'm sorry. Yeah, Cora. They're downstairs in their little hut, whatever they're eating. The and cool Cora, stable. Uh, uh, Cora shows up because she had a button that needed to be fixed on her coat. And of course, she hears O'Brien. And she hears O'Brien talking. Um, and I'm with I'm with Thomas. That's their domain. They should be able to say what they want to say down there. They should be able to complain and do what they want, right? Yeah, it's up it's up to Carson or Miss Miss O'Brien. Miss O'Brien. Miss um, I'm drawing a blank on her name. I know. Um, ah. Anyway, I, I'm sorry. I apologize. I'm drawing a blank on her name. What is her name? What? I don't know. You should know it. I know. Me. You're making me forget now. What? It's it's up to them. To say. To discipline, not Cora. Even though Cora, I guess, you know, you can hear what she's saying, but, you know, we're, if you want to be friends, O'Brien, and then they go back and forth. But no, I agree with Thomas. That they, right. Then they should be able to say what they want to say in that area. That's their little area. They, you know, they have to have something. They did, yeah, they have to have something. And I don't think you, they expected someone to come down and into their area. So that's why so I was Why didn't she just ring a bell? I would have come up and got right. the button. Anyway. But anyway, so, you know, a real lady would not come down here. <laughs> But, you know, she's American. Yes. And, you know, you know us Americans. Yes. We're just kind of crazy. Uh, then Matthew insults Mosley. I don't think he meant to. He goes, yes, he was just basically telling him, it was, what a funny job for you to dress for a man. For a grown man. Yeah, to dress another man. To dress another man. Right. And, and Mosley's like... Poor and Mosley. And Matthew goes, oh, I'm sorry. Yes, you're a jerk, Matthew. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Did you figure out her name yet? No. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's completely gone off my brain. Edith is reading uh, Mary's letter from... Uh, Evelyn. 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 And, you know, it's just, that's just Edith. Yes. Being Edith. Just being nosy. Being you know, nosy. being a middle sister. And wanting to see what was all that about. Mm -hmm. And so it was a quite nice little letter to dear Mary. Um, I'm still trying to think of the name. Uh, <laughs> it's so stupid because it's, ah, we've said it a thousand times. I know. Uh, Cora tells Mary, just once in her life. Listen to me. Uh, you know, it's like, you know, when you're with your kids or your teenage daughters, I'll say, and um, they're going on and you're just, da, 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 da. you just want to tell them to shut your Mrs. mouth. Mrs. Hughes. Yeah. Mrs. Hughes. That's it. <laughs> Jeez, thank you. Praise Jesus. Um, anyway. <laughs> and and she just basically just, for once in your life, you just shut your mouth. You okay now? Well, she said like this. Mary. Just once in your life. No, she got quiet. firm. I thought she was firm. Be quiet, Mary. No, she was a little firmer than that. Yes. I think it's the only time in the whole series she was that forceful. 
I mean, that... Uh, no, stop we'll other times, maybe. Anyway. Oh, Robert. Okay, uh, they have dinner again, because that's what they do. Yes. And Mary goes, you don't hunt? <laughs> you don't, we're a hunting family. I guess you're not. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Mary reminds me of me. Something I would have said. You don't hunt. <laughs> How do you eat? <laughs> oh, oh no! And then there's another uh, Manchester. Ooh. <laughs> but uh, I, I don't know. Anyway, anyway. so uh, uh, Thomas and uh, they go back and uh, t- downstairs, and Thomas and Daisy dance. They do the they do the grizzly bear. <laughs> Is that really a dance, people? Let me know. I'm the grizzly sh- I, bear. It's got to be. Okay. It's got to be. Arr, arr, arr. <laughs> it was a cute little time. Yeah, and then I think uh, someone has a little crush on Thomas. I think she does. Miss mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Daisy. Not William. No. Um, Thomas. And that's, uh, I think that's my favorite part with her and uh, Miss Patmore when they... When she's trying to explain to him in so many ways um, about Thomas yeah. and her just not getting it, and you know different ways she's trying to say it in a polite, nice way. She says, um, "No, he's not like William." No, <laughs> and it's just like it's cute because you know they're showing um, Daisy is naive and young, and she is. Yeah. And uh, I just thought it was a cute. I like that little part that they go back and forth with. Anyway, uh, Matthew t- and Violet are talking, and he says, "I don't think um, Mary likes me much. I don't, I don't think we'll be great friends." No, because they're not getting along. No. Nope. There's a little friction. Friction there. back and forth. Uh, O'Brien and Thomas talk and about you know about going, you know the... what they're gonna do. Why da da da? You know, <coughs> evil. She's been with her ten years. All of a sudden, she finds her evil. Yeah, I just think she probably always did. Okay. And I just think that O'Brien. I, I don't think O'Brien is a happy person. Is a happy person. No, I don't. <laughs> her character. I don't think she is at all. Yeah. Uh, Baxter. Um, Baxter. Oh, Bates. Well, I got way ahead of myself. Yes, you did. Uh, Bates has to answer the front door because it's just him and Anna talking. Right, because they all went down to some kind of sign traveling show or something that was going on. Alone at last. Alone at last. Uh, And, you know, they're having a good conversation. The bell rings front door. Because uh, Bates said, I don't think, you know. Both footmen should have been gone. Should have been gone. That's why he stayed behind. And the front door rings. He goes, and then Anna says, well, a maid shouldn't answer the door. You need to answer the door. Right. I got to answer the door. I got to answer the front door. Right. That's a long way up those stairs. That he well, not only that, but he's thinking, really, that's not his job no. to answer the door. But he's, you know, he's stepping up because he's Bates. Right. He's, he's doing. And then we have, uh, uh, let's see, uh, Charlie. Griggs. No, it's a. Uh, oh, uh, Charlie said, he says, I know Charlie Carson is the butler. Yes. You're Charlie, not the butler. You're not, how do you know? Because I know Charlie Carson is the butler. butler. Oh, and then you do just barges in. Yes. And then he sends Anna. Through the front door yeah. to go get. Use the front door, Anna. Yes. You use the front door because <laughs> I am the butler right now. You <laughs> use the front door. Would she got in trouble if you used the front door in, like in real life? I think. Yeah, that they yeah. weren't allowed to. No. Yeah. Uh, Sybil comes in and they, what's going on? Yes. But she goes, "I'll stay in case there's." And then, some. and he says, "Thank you." Because in case there's some, some kind of mis- misunderstanding, I think she's protecting Bates. Yeah, of course. Uh, and then Robert walks in. What's going on? And then Bates arrives, all kind of... Right. Uh, all, all no, not Bates. Uh, Bates is already there. Oh, I'm sorry. Carson arrives. Carson arrives. <laughs> You're out of order. I did write Bates, though. <laughs> <laughs> Poor little fella. Uh, Charles Griggs is the guy that we're... Uh, yes, yeah, so, and we find out about their singing Charlies, right? They, Charlie's they, singing, they, they singing were, Charlie. They were the cheer, uh, cheerful Charlies. Cheerful Charlies. And they were a dancing, singing group. And you're like going... And this is only the second episode. And we're like going... I'm like, wait, wait, Carson? I know. What's that guy? I mean, that's how great, they, again, Julian Fellows did with these characters. It's midway through the second episode. And we already think of Carson as this uptight, no fun person. Judgmental. Judgmental. Just even when they say, I was a cheerful Charlie and I right. dance and, and I was on the show. Sang and dance on I'm stage. Like, I'm like. There's a couple. And this is. What are you talking about, Willis? This is the this scene. is a couple of things that I love that I think Robert says. One is, you know. Um, there's many chapters that that people would not of their life that they wouldn't want to publish, and I was like, oh, that was another a good point. You know, some good good lines that I liked in this. Um, he's episode. The, he's one of the least judgmental people on the show. Isn't yeah, Robert. He? Yeah, yeah Robert. you're right. You're right. Well, and then I think Violet yeah. says that. You know, at one point when they were walking and they were talking about what to do with Matthew, and and uh, Violet suggests about you know her, him marrying. Um, Mary and you know basically saying you know why do you have to you know be all like the, the nicer guy you know and make us feel like we're all judgmental people and right. I, they talk about that a lot Violet does with her son about his, the way he is but uh, I, I do like how he handles it he gives the guy to, he goes you can have 20 I wonder what 20 pounds was worth back then today's money probably 20 pounds 
No, I know that about today's money. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but, but he goes, and he goes, well, you're wrong. And Griggs says, no, you'll take it. All right, come back, I will give you five. Because oh, you're, you're, he goes, yes, because I can do that. Yes. So he he was he was basically putting his authority and to save Car- and Carson. Because and, and, Carson at one point says, I'll give you my resignation. I resign. And, 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 and because I guess to him, Carson felt that this was something he let, that he let made him look bad. Well, yeah, he let the family, family down. down. Right. And Robert's like going, it's fine. It's fine. Go go sing us a song or something. <laughs> yeah, just, just, just relax. But I thought it was a great scene. I thought it, it really showed Robert as a... Because Robert, he, he, we'll find out later, he's not good financially. Financially. Yeah, he isn't. But, but he's he's a good person. Yeah, I, would, I, I, think, yeah, I, think, I think I think, he always I think Robert... Because right. the first episode, Robert really has come out looking like, of all the people on the show, he looks like the better person. Right, well, that's really the... You know, you haven't really talked much about Edith or Sybil. You mostly was focused on about, you know, the top, you know, characters, so... And maybe yes. that's where... Because later on, we'll find out more about Sybil... Maybe that's where she gets it from Robert. Ah, yes. Because when we find more about the way Sybil's character is. Is that yeah. she's less judgmental. And right. And she just doesn't judge yeah. as much. And she gets that aside from her father. Right. Hmm, interesting. Okay. So there we go. There we go. Uh, let's see. Uh, Isabel is confronted by Dr. Dr. Clarkston. Yes, yeah, she, you know, she wants to try that procedure on Drake. She wants to do whatever her husband did years ago, um, where they drain the cardigo, whatever that thing is. Drain the fluid off the heart, give it a thing of adrenaline, and all, you know, bada beam, bada boom, everything's good. I was surprised everyone stayed in there during the procedure. But anyway. It was just different uh, times. Is, uh, Violet storms in. Yes. Well, at tea, Violet and um, Cora, Cora are talking, and then that's when Cora, and I just love those little sandwiches. And uh, that was my favorite part about when we went to the tea room. Um, and then um, they are um, talking about it, and Viol- and Cora kind of oh, flips put a the, stop to the, that. You know what? What she saw um, Isabel doing, yeah. you know, marching she into that in hospital. Such, she was in such. She was. Uh, would she use the word? I was so determined. Yes. To go in there and do it. <laughs> okay. All right, dear. Anyway, so she goes in. And and then they're, they're talking, talking, and, and Clarkson says, "I'm going to do the procedure." But then everyone, like I said, everyone stayed in there. The yes. pus was coming out. Of the uh, it's fluid. It wasn't pus. Uh, look, well, it looked like pus. But I don't know. It wasn't real. But they save the Drake. Yeah, Drake. And by the way, going... <laughs> oh. anyway, I'm flipping over the last page here. Uh, let's see. Matthew doesn't want. Mosley. I don't want Mosley. He's telling uh, Robert that. Well, Robert and, you know, they're going over some things. They talked about, you know, that they all came in and Robert has decided um, to give Isabel a position um, in the hospital. Just to piss off. Um, to piss off his mother. I thought Dr. Clark was kind of funny, like, not to be impertinent, uh, but, you know, do you really want to deal with that stuff, you know, with your mother? But he I was fine like with going, it. I think he's like, who's going to have to deal with that? Yeah. Um, anyway, so after that's all done, they talk about it, and, you know, you can see Matthew's quite pleased that something has been done for his mother, and they walk out, and, and I thought Robert um, talked a good game there. I think, you know, he was well, telling he, him, you know, like, look at you know, isn't this person important? Isn't that person important? Everybody's important, and why would you want to take that well, away he, from them? But he also said, he goes, so if you take over, we're not, all these people are going to lose their jobs. Right. Everything they, they work for, the only thing they know. Right, right. Again. And I like that analogy. I yeah. liked how Robert was like, explaining that to him. And I, and I think he was, not to, to be to belittle him, I think he was explaining he him was the educating. position, educating him the position of, of being an earl, uh, an earl of Downton and what it, what what portrays and what you have to do and the amount of people that you're responsible for and and when you're making decisions think about all of that right so. it's not it's not black and white no it's, it's not like yeah you don't need a butler but now Mosley's out of a job right and now he's, he's you know and we you know, he's, and we see later on what happens and that changes right so. exactly so anyway uh, they're walking down the stairs and actually Edith and and Mary laughed together yes they did it was a nice little thing. <laughs> But then Edith kind of has the hots for Matthew. Yeah, I think she is basically saying, well, if you don't want them, I'll take them. Because I have bigger fish to fry. Yes. Mary's always fishing. Yes, she is. <laughs> um, let's see. Matthew uh, changes his attitude, attitude towards Mosley. And it was just very subtle. You know, yeah. just like, you know, he was talking about, well, let's get a little fancier without basically being so blatant about it. And, um, and I think that favorite part where he puts that jacket on and he sees the stain that's not there anymore. And, he and then that he noticed it. Yeah. You know, I always felt and still feel this way. I think encouragement with words and telling money's important and getting raises are important, absolutely, and you need that. But I also think being noticed and being appreciative of what you do is important too. And yeah. I think that was a, a great 
part right there. A little bit of this. A little bit of that. And he felt good about himself that Matthew noticed that, you know? Yeah. And so that's a little more bonding with the the two characters. And then at the end, Violet is not happy about Isabel's appointment. No. But right before that, I I like the one with Bates and Carson where they're right there. And Bates, um, Carson stops and lets Mrs. Hughes walk in and he kind of talks to him. And, and, um, you know, again, you don't know much about um, Bates' life. Um, but I think you'll find out later why he is this way and not so judgmental. But he, d- he not- but he was thinking, we'll never. He's so him and Anna talked, right? And he says, you know, we'll never be able to look at Carson the same. And she says, well, why? Right. And he goes, because he has a past. We don't know the past yeah. yet. But I, I think Anna kind of cut through to because uh, this episode it was ju- it was about judgmental, but it was also like Matthew getting. I mean, uh, Robert getting through to Matthew, right? Uh, Isabel getting through to Doctor Clarkson, exactly. Um, uh, Hoping that maybe Anna getting through to Bates about, about Carson. Carson. It just and also you know even Cora trying to get through to Mary, which she didn't see that getting through. So right. you're right. It was it was a judgmental episode, but in that judgmental episode, it was trying to get you know some of the main characters to understand the sides of other people. Right. So it was good. I, and the again, whole thing with Car- you know the, Robert with Carson, the whole right. thing. Just... I still want to go there one day. I still want to get into the castle. We were like you know from here to there. And yeah, we were close. We were close. I have a picture of it, but not close enough. Uh, that's still one of my things. Maybe we'll put it at the end of the video here. But, oh, that picture. That's right. Yeah, but that's that's all we got for today. Um, if you, again, if you like this, subscribe, tell a friend, give thumbs, a thumbs up, up, and leave a comment if you if there's something if you if you want to say. How did it take you five minutes to remember Mrs. Hughes's name? <laughs> We're old people. Yeah, I just drew a blank. I just drew a blank on her name. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, uh, we'll be back next week for another episode of. Downton Abbey. Don't sing. (laughs) Thanks, you guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Happy uh, Super Bowl day. Yes. Bye. Bye. To the Downton Abbey rewatch, going strong. Uh, That didn't make sense. No. (laughs) (laughs) Take two. Hello and welcome to the Downton Abbey rewatch. Take three.